All right, so I'm trying to create this video as quickly as possible. So you're trying to create a uh, recovery drive and you get a message that you can you have the missing files uh, and you can't create the drive. So you have some missing files. When you try to run this command, you can see that the system recovery is disabled and it has no location. When you try to find a location on uh, drive C where you need to see the recovery drive it's not there so you go here you go to options just so that you can see the file itself the folder itself you need to unshow hidden drives and folders and system files create click apply and OK and you can see that the recovery folder is here but when you click it you get access denied. So to fix that first problem, you first do. So when you try to click the recovery library, you, you get a message that access is denied. So one of the reasons even the command prompt can't access the uh, folder is that the access is denied for it. So you go to properties, security, and in security it will say you need to have at least a read write to the library. You click advanced. No, you click advanced and change owner to administrator groups or to your administrator. You change the owner. And if you will ask you if you want to change the, the ownership of subfolders as well, you say yes, they want to change the permission to subfolders as well. And here you'll have another checkbox to uh, relating to subfolders. Click both of them, click OK, approve all the messages, and you'll go to the next step. Then you'll have something like this. Now you're the owner of the folder, and when you try to click it, you can access it normally as any other folder. Now from this, you'll need to <clears throat> come here and enable You'll see that here the recovery option was disabled, right? For some reason, and there was no folder. It didn't know where the folder is of the recovery and where the actual file, the WinRe file is, or Windows RE file. So it doesn't know where that file is. <clears throat> you just found it in this folder. Now that you have access to this folder, you can see. Well, in a minute, I still don't have access. Let me do the same thing. So I go back. I can just do it from here. You'll see it in action. This is the message you get. You say, OK, I want to change ownership. And select advanced, find administrators, OK, OK, replace subfolders, apply, OK, OK. Okay, so now, damn it, I forgot some something probably. Let's see, what did I forget? The owner wasn't changed. So again, advanced, find, administrators, okay. Ah, I forgot to check this. So we need to check both this and this. And this, whatever, here, yes, yes. And see how all of them now okay there? This should work now. See? Yeah. So you can see now I can enter the folder. It's great that it happened. So you can see actually that I can enter the folder itself. Now I entered the folder and you can see the file we're looking for. And if we come here, we need to tell the system where the file is. It's not in an unknown location. It's actually here. So for that to happen, we need to well, let's search around here. So we need this command. See this? But this command will tell the operating system where the file is, which is the, exactly the folder. And this is the where to put the log file. Right? So this is the folder where to put the log file. If I do this command, 
still remember this command? No. Do this command. It says already enabled. All right. So let's disable it and enable it again, just so you can see. All right here, and put disabled, operation successful. And now it's disabled. And if I click info, to see what's happening, it's disabled. Now let's do the path again. Operation is successful and enable it again. See, if everything works fine, it should be enabled. Three, two, one, and operation successful. Great. Now let's do an info again, and you can see that now it's enabled in the correct place, and we started from this situation. Started when it's disabled and it doesn't know where the file is. Ended up with enabled and exactly where the location is. So let's wrap things up. Basically, what we wanted to do is create a recovery um, disk. And now that we have set this, this works and it doesn't say that it no doesn't know where the file is. Good luck with your backups. I hope it helped. Give it a like if it did, because I'm basically showing you how I solved the issue uh, on my machine as it happened. So have a great day.